Hello my witchlets. Today we are going to make avocado pesto. That's right, avocado pesto. You really only need four ingredients, but I'm gonna add some optional stuff to it simply because I really like that flavor. So you're gonna need one medium avocado. I didn't have medium, I had several little ones and uh, they were starting to kind of not be good for anything other than making guacamole or avocado pesto. So I'm going to use these. Um, you need one clove of garlic crushed. Uh, I like garlic, so I'm using a few more. You will need a, about half a tablespoon to a tablespoon or more of lemon juice, a pinch of red pe pepper flakes if you'd like to add that, salt and pepper if you'd like to add that, and you're supposed to use 9 to 12 mint leaves, but my mint leaves, it's, it's really hot and they don't like heat, so um, they're dead. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my um, dried mint and just kind of, you know, work with it as best as I can. So uh, did I mention it's really hot? Because it's really hot. Um, it's August in Southern California. So uh, let's go ahead and see about reframing things and getting started. Okay, we are back. And so what we're gonna do is I've put most of my avocado in here already because it's gonna be really boring just watching me peel an avocado. Um, also, just to just to note, the uh, proportions that I gave you are correct. I just had a lot of little avocados that were starting to turn and so I'm kind of making a, a double batch here. But you just wanna use a spoon to um, peel the skin away from the flesh and dump it on in here. There we go. All right, now I'm going to show you how to crush garlic. You want a good flat knife against your cutting board. And that's literally it, that's all you do. So I'm gonna go ahead and crush these. There we go. And then we're gonna start adding our other ingredients. So because I'm using probably the equivalent of two medium avocados. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of lemon juice, and this is to help them from turning more brown than they already are. Um, and then as far as the mint is concerned, since I'm using dried mint, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna eyeball it, and use about half a tablespoon or so and um, put that in there. Salt and pepper to taste. So my pink Himalayan salt, I love. Except when it gets stuck in the grinding. There we go. That's good. And some pepper. And then I'm gonna add in some red pepper flakes just cause I like a little spice. That's good. Only need a pinch. And then from here, we are just going to uh, go ahead and uh, pulse this. And I'm not gonna do all of that on camera just because it's very loud, but you're just gonna, you're just gonna pulse it till everything is blended together and it's nice and creamy. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, so uh, if you have a large enough food processor, just start with that. Um, this is the only food processor I currently have. It's a mini food processor because I have a mini kitchen. So I made this before and it was missing the nuttiness of it. So we happen to have some slivered almonds. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add about a tablespoon of slithered, slithered, slivered almonds to this, which for me, that's about you know, a handful. 
there we go. And um, we will go ahead and blend for maximum creaminess. Okay, there we go, everything is in here. I see this is going well. the almonds in here. If you try to get them to the bottom where they will be reached by the blades. Okay. Oh, look at that, a cat hair. Who'd have thunk? in my kitchen. Anyway, so um, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this um, off camera because again, this is thrilling content that I know you come to my channel to watch. Um, so I'll be back in a few minutes once I get this to the consistency that I would like it and we will put it in the jar. Alrighty, here we are. It is time to jar our uh, avocado pesto. Um, this is really amazing stuff, guys. You really should make it. So I'm using a one pint jar because I think that's probably what I need for this amount. Um, use whatever you'd like. This should keep in your refrigerator for about a week, um, but trust me, you're going to want to use it on everything. The first time I made this, um, we put it on steelhead trout and it was really, really fantastic. It makes a great coating for, um, for fish, probably chicken. You can use it as a pasta sauce. Um, and, you know, put it on your toast for avocado toast. Give it a little uh, different kind of a zing. Splort, there we go. Yeah. could have used a cup. Oh well. Like cameraman Ken was saying, it's better to have too big of a jar than too small of a jar. So here we are. Alrighty. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, this will keep in the refrigerator for about a week. Um, you just want to make sure you have enough lemon juice to keep it from turning brown because nobody likes brown pesto. Um, but that's it. So if you like what you saw today, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't hit the thumbs down button, whatever, just leave me a comment either way. If you decide to make this, let me know how you do it. I would love to see uh, your results. You don't have to add the nuts. Like I said, I felt that it was missing that nutty texture. So we went ahead and added some and uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you ring the notification bell so you always know when my videos are coming out. We'll see you next time.